everybody. We're back. So yeah, we're going to be continuing with Doom 3. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to play tonight because uh, I am really goddamn tired. Ooh, I am like... I am the big Frozen. Yeah, we're going to keep going with Doom 3 BFG Edition. We're doing our uh, no flashlight rules and other stuff because... Of honoring it. I think when we do the expansion, no flashlight is basically gonna have to go out the window. From what I remember, because it gets really goddamn dark. But yeah, for now, let's keep going with our BFD edition. Built labs. Did it pick up or is it being stupid? Nope, there we go. Okay. So just check that. Right, no flashlight. Oh, wait a second, this is like, this is a number. But yeah, I might go for a bit shorter amount of time tonight because of just feeling very tired. Systems down. restart power. Cool. Emergency power only. Power get to operations suspended. Yep, that sounds like a pinky. Face is missing. Okay, that's closed. Hmm. Okay, so it's not over here. I think it's somewhere else. Only. All the Delta operations suspended. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. So it's not over here, then. It's gotta be somewhere. Emergency power only. I feel like I go back or something. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. Power back up. There we go. Probably down there, I just gotta find it. Or in here. Just gotta figure out exactly where it is or where it wants me to go. Right, I can't go that way yet. Is this the data linker and I just couldn't like hit it or uh I swear I walked over that. That's embarrassing. Oh well. Switch. Oh. Hmm. Where it goes. Huh. Administration. Be elevators. Warning. Reactor core Please follow safety procedure. Orange. Video makeup requested. Oh. Connection established. Green, this is Kelly. Have you watched seen this, sir? Tougher than I thought. I guess things aren't always what they seem. Plans have changed. Delta Complex 1 has been compromised. You're not safe there. I'm moving to Secure Service Tunnel 1. It's not far from your position. We'll meet there. Oh. Hello, Mr. M. Bye, Mr. M. Hey Shadow Kid, what's up? <laughs> We're doing 
Doom 3 BFG edition, which is a pain in the ass. I can't fucking alt tab properly for some reason. We're also doing it without the flashlight, so fuck. Oh well. Delta Labs. Am I trying to finish up more of this today? I'm not sure if I'm going to. Mainly because of the fact that I'm just super tired tonight, so I might do like a little bit of it. Souls. No? Okay, good. those PDAs that I picked up, see if there's anything new on them. Uh, wait, are you back yet? I don't know bugs and shit. Uh, okay. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Assignment of engineers from lower Delta Labs Six months we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help this situation. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly Delta Medical Brief, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexplained mental illness is way beyond acceptable levels. 
even from ours. They're derogatorily being called sub-delts up here. And I have a feeling this attitude will spread Warning. to other parts Reactor of the UAC. Mm -hmm. End of log. Please follow mm. safety procedure. Interesting. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Mm. Disciplinary Action Report 40C-8, responding to Mars City Administration request. Delta Labs 1 is currently addressing a problem concerning theft of security equipment. Hmm. Four members of the security detail assigned to the Delta Labs have been reprimanded with three others under investigation. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. I have a team investigating storage room 21D with security code 298, where I've learned stolen items may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. End of log. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kako demons really do be weak in this. God damn. I have med medicine. Fine, it's kind of a laid back day. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go today because um, I had to take care of some stuff yesterday. Oh. So yeah, it might be a shorter than usual stream. This might be like two hours or something. I don't like Doom 3 Lost Souls, they're a lot harder to deal with. Uh, first time playing D3, you're playing the re-release of the original. 
Uh, playing BFG Edition, not the first time I played it through, but also it's just down to like, it's the only one I had for boot. Because I had the original game key and then like, it kind of went up in smoke, so... That's why I'm playing the BFG Edition. Attention. We we'll also do some donation fuckery. I'm playing it without the flashlight, so that's a thing. saying one up in smoke. Uh, I had the original CD key and the original CDs and stuff, but um, I, it's one of those cases of after years of like moving and doing other stuff, I ended up like losing them. Oh shit, hello. Ow. Okay, I didn't telegraph that very well. one of those cases of after moving every once in a while and after kind of not having them for like years things get moved around in boxes and you know stuff gets shuffled around so you kind of lose access to stuff let's see i think that's the pda i needed uh reactor engineering dull gloves old email actor safely or person oh okay It's one of those things if I ever wanted to, I could probably rebuy the original, like, version. It's just a case of... I figure if I'm gonna stream it, I might as well just stream, like, this one for now. And, like, if I really wanted to, like, go through the co-op mod or something, for example, I'll just go and rebuy the original when I get the chance. Modable. Yeah, the original one is. The BFG edition doesn't tend to play well with mods, unfortunately. There's a lot of. There's a decent number of Doom 3 mods, it's just that they haven't. I don't think a lot of them are except the new edition of Doom. A lot of them require you to go to the original one.
remember this area. So H Doom three. Pfft. That'd be some That'd be some interesting three D models, I can really say that much. Oh, that boy has a chain gun, I forgot about you. I'm a bus side chain gun ammo. Ooh. It'd be cool if someone made a uh, Doom 3 mod for blood. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah, I know someone's worked on a... What is it? I think it's the Phobos. Not Phobos Anomaly. It's something Phobos for... Um, for Doom 3. I don't remember the name of it. But it looked pretty good. Oh. deal with that. Oh, now I do. Be cool, so when, uh, if you know what uh, that is just for me in the game getting uh, spooky. Yeah, pretty much. Also, yeah, I know what blood is. I've played through blood a few times on the channel. 
I've recently played through the Death Wish mod for that. Is there anything back here? Oh, armor shards. No, wait, did it? Closed. Okay, there we go. Nice. Have you heard of Shrine? Yeah, I played through Shrine 1 and Shrine 2. They're both really good. Exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak. I wish I could play the shrine too. Well, I'm pretty sure it's free on Steam, so. On Unless you just don't have a computer to do it with, then that would be a huge all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these mm. cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological mm. contaminants that would lead to such drastic mm. changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever know, this pathogen like, is, it, it attacks weird. higher brain functions and only leaves more mm. basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills. Making and progress is the journey is futile. Subjects in this group you will die. Your soul die. Soul Skin die. pales, soul muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent. Veiny sinews of their bones. I've never seen anything like that. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh. Yeah, I'd say maybe try and like uninstall it and then reinstall. Better try the standalone mod version and see if that works. Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Oh. Oh. oh, hello.
there. Oh, oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Vertruger took the device. It, it was an artifact. Yeah, Shrine 2 is really good. Shrine 1 was also great. And hell followed him out. Oh. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. Security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Okay. Yeah, that figures. I probably shouldn't have bothered with the fucking shotgun. Let's see how far back we are. Fuck. This is literally the beginning. Doom 3 shotgun can be. Okay. Let's do that with less fucking up. You know, I'll accept everything else about Doom 3, but I will not accept people saying that this is a good shotgun. They can... They can ride a bike. I mean, part of the issue with the Doom 3 shotgun at the end of the day is that it's so fucking unreliable to, like, an amazing extent. Like, sometimes those dudes, it will one-hit them. Other times, it's like, hee hee, let me just eat all of the ammo Thank to my face. Rocket launcher ain't bad at the point. Of it. All right, let me get some health actually. 
Yeah, that's fine. Like, I think that last fight was the perfect illustration of it because of the fact that it was basically either you devastate something in one hit, being the big tentacle man. Oh, thank God. You're or you shoot right. three times I and that doesn't do shit. I, I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't. We don't have much time. It's not dumb. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal, and hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. <laughs> Started. Go back this way. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Does your okay? Nothing else works in here. Cool. Now we know that asshole's gonna be through the door. Where is this? Bio labs. Uh, and security. I guess we'll go with operations first. Killed you, fuck you. God damn it. Fuck, I'm gonna go back and get health because I don't want to end up getting screwed over here. I actually have some health over here. Oh no. Uh, I was under you? Excuse me? some health in the other section. There we go. Let's see. Steve. Uh, operations tech status relocated. Okay. Using the shotgun clips. Frank Cinders. What does Frank have to say? As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my hmm. first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinders, dated October 15th, 2145. Oh, okay. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. 
I, I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Hmm. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life. But, uh, flames and heat and stench of the place. It smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads. Science Division Start securing forward positions And we expect to start sending out the mapping droids At the same time Oh well, I must admit I'm a personal note that I, I've got a really Really bad feeling about this I don't understand what we're doing there Or what we hope to prove PFC Cinders Signing off Oh chain gunners. Medical report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2105. Patient 0432, Private Steve, UAC, Dark Light, Oh, fuck. Where'd you come from? Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full zone dementia. The treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes mm. within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18th, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm mm. here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours with you. Yeah, I think a lot of the audio logs and like the general atmosphere of Doom 3 is well done. It's just... Just this fucking shotgun. Shoved the shotgun up your nose and you've decided to just ignore it. Okay. Neat. 
Thank you. Thank you, Doom 3 Shotgun. Real fucking cool. Okay, so move. Five. I'm only moving five. I should just move one. Now I know what I need to do. God damn it. Fucker. Military supplies placed in the storage locker in emergency. A security team member delivered supplies say and secure the door. Um, okay. Um, Alarm systems deactivated. Nine seven two, whoops. Security chief and Abrams. Do I have his shit? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I go somewhere else. Probably need to backtrack. Actually, wait. Mm. Right, I'll probably find the PDA somewhere. Denied. Hmm. 
Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20, 2045. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. The volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood. It's real fire and brimstone stuff. There's so many fellas reports for them. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put him for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Probably missed a PDA somewhere. goes up and down now. Yeah, I feel like I missed something over here, honestly. I probably missed a PDA somewhere. November 2nd, 21. sense.
there was something up here, just not what I thought it was gonna be. Cool. Thank you for the host. I don't know who hosted because <clears throat> I can't really alt tab check. Thank you for the host. God damn it. Actually, wait, I don't need to go this direction. I can just go around the other way. Fuck, I'm stupid. Yeah, what the fuck am I doing? something back here. Probably a code or something. So let me look at the chat. Hey Willie. How are you? I'm just checking something really quick. See the dialog has a recent rest for security code. Mail is the expression of the code. Oh. Well, I don't know how I missed his audio log, but fuck it, I'm just gonna take the win. I don't care that I looked up a guide for this. Because yay, BFG. So I think it's back here. No. We go back to the main room now. No wait. Keep getting turned around on these rooms. Saying, I just gotta use the washroom really quick, but I'll BRB and I'll be back in like a second.
Okay, I'm back now. Hmm. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Oh boy. Systems activated. Teleportation is Time to teleport. the help on the whole Stop using the shotgun. Observation. Oh, there's the storage area. Shotgun still sucks ass. Oh wait, that's an arch file up there. Oh, I got a present for you, motherfucker.
think I killed it? Yeah, that's one of those things I tend to agree with a few people on, is the fact that anyone who sits there and defends the Doom 3 shotgun is huffing some serious levels of copium, holy shit. This thing is still bad. No, but Rocker, the point is it's dog shit because it's supposed to increase the br 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 I'm like, I don't care. There's, there's ways to increase the tension without saddling the player with a shotgun that could either do, like, ten times the amount of damage normal, or just nothing. Like, goddamn. Like, you have to fucking... You have to get ridiculously close to use this fucking thing. Like, it's a hell of a thing when you, like, face-hug a dude, and it still is, like, BP. You have missed. Like... God damn. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay. Honestly, our trials are gonna jump into the three. Interesting. Interesting. Who the fuck? Ah, you surprised Boy. me. Boy, I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be. Able... I'm gonna stay here and keep working. I'll upload my findings into the database. Delta Complex Stasis Chamber. Uh -huh. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional hmm. beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens hmm. appear to be causing space flight sequences with extremely high Hold on. Researching no mapping for my good own. Oh, God! 
Well, that was a thing. Lock code change request to exercise the central security team. Be sent. Please store them in locker 103 and change the code 259. No, wait. That's not the right thing. I just picked up a PDA. There we go. Uh, change the code in the storage locker near the stains, uh, stasis transfer control to 371. Okay. Oh. I did the two resists take ten fault? God damn it. Fuck you, Doom 3. Fucking jello leg motherfucker, god damn it. Again, three seven one. Huh. Yeah, this part. Imps. Damn. God, you fucking bastard. the damage in existence, cool. Ow, why do you keep doing that? For fuck's sakes, god damn it. What you see before you is a relic codename. It was discovered in 2104. Located in the geographic region, the UAC research is unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed and that they were all wiped out in some kind of uh, This is the audio log of research director Larry Bowman, October 19th. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the soul cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion that the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another I have a soul cube in hell, and 
Ciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, they want it to extinguish or possibly kills another human. That's a certain pressure that can reach the artifact. that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of log. Smith McNeil. I have received a formal request for intruding activities on Mars, requested by the board, departing as soon as I've a claim, changes it, it's Dr. Hawkins are being taken very seriously, as you may have already known, the U.S.'s matter policy is not acknowledged. <laughs> Origin code changes an effort to minimize supply requirement errors and having all access codes. Very area change must continue to keep it tight. Uh, storage area 07 to 725. New code is 463. Okay. Wait. I misread that, I think. 259, I think. No? God damn it. Forgot about that. What's the last one? Go online, find the code. I'll have the guys put it on the storage room upstairs for you. Oh, Francis, I think, has the. Maybe huh. weird. No, oh, okay, I probably don't need one. There's in there. Anyways, level three access. Uh... Seven two five work that uh, four six three. That was kind of a joke. Bump labs two. Why did I have to reload? Oh god damn it. Destroy the bridge. Access granted. 
Yeah, you know, I saw that coming, I'm not gonna lie. I need to stop trusting this shit shotgun. Okay. There we go. God damn it. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19th, 2145. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. There's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to some of the heavier equipment. This will require rerouting power from central processing. I just can't We're sucking power from three veins in Infro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. The contamination I'll chamber this. sequence initiated. This is Dr. Frank Serrano's first. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. There we go. I think it said eight seven one. Storage cabinet. This is the bulk of uh, bullshit. Hmm. Please select. 
correct teleport destination. Hmm. Pad two selected. Okay, what's over here? Whatever. There's the space butthole. Where's this go? Process started. Did I go to the right place or did I fuck it up? Complete. My patience with you is wearing Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't necessarily think Doom 3 is a bad... Ooh, oh shit. Okay, no. No, fuck you. No. This fucking shotgun can eat, like, an entire ass. Like, fucking... I... This fucking thing. This ugly, big, fucking metal... Fleshlight motherfucker is just the worst. Because I can never tell how much damage it's gonna do. Because sometimes it's fucking failed to kill even basic dudes, even shoving it right in their face. Other fucking times it instantly destroys the tentacle man. I feel like I'm going fucking crazy. Okay, back. But continuing the rant, it's like... There's so many times where I'm like, Oh, I need something that can, like, do reliable damage. Oh, I guess I'll use the shotgun, because everything's up in my face. And then it's like, huh, nope. You thought the shotgun was gonna be reliable? Well, fuck you. Oh, 
honestly becomes a serious fucking problem. I understand there's more than enough ammo to not have to, like, use the shotgun constantly. But that's not really the base of the problem. Shit, might as well. Oh wait, that's a... Mm, mm. I thought it was a regular zombie for a second, and I was like, oh, that's fine, let's take the shotgun out. I nearly got ass blasted by the tentacle man. Like, I'll acknowledge Doom 3 is a Doom game. That's fine. I'll acknowledge that, like, you know, it's not a bad game either. However, and this is the important however. Holy shit, does it have some irritating, fine, like, small fucking problems. Like how every single doorway has an imp behind it that wants to jump at me and eat my face. So yeah, I clearly didn't get the security station 3. Yeah, I go in here. Chamber sequence initiated. Like it's one of those cases of Doom Three plays fine, but it's also kind of annoying. Like some of the decisions they actively make and like contribute to. I don't know why that's locked, but whatever. Decontamination process started. Hmm. Primary system failure. System shutdown. Oh, Backup lovely. systems online. Stop him! Oh, okay. 
switch to the right gun? Okay, I guess not. Cool. That fingered the BFG key. Uh, security. Path two selected. This is the audio log of Dr. Martin Shaw, mm. dated August 7, 2114. The have portals up for the to get team through and to send in some light heavier equipment. Set and locked before engaging mm. the systems. We had a tragic accident today in Chamber 1, the death of Susan Clark, female chimps. She stepped onto the platform during the calibration phase. An electrical short gauged the system and literally split her in two. Her torso appeared at the destination marker while her lower extremities remained in place on the source pad. I'm not sure how we've gone this long without this problem appearing sooner, but it seems like we've had enough of the difficulty of getting these systems to work. I don't know where the trip finds the energy. He's been busy slaving away in the labs for 16 hours. The rest of his work can still look bad. Making progress, Marine. Regardless, we can work out for you for the next couple of days. We'll die, all the systems and your soul exactly. will be mine. Down here. Okay. Okay. You will never find the thing you seek. It is trapped in hell forever. Okay. No, also, I've seen more of those dudes. Set CMP to lock on the floor, five, seven, nine. Nice scratch. Oh, right. Okay, so I'm going to call it here, because I played for about two hours, roughly, and I am getting tired, but I'm going to pick this up probably another time, probably tomorrow, because tomorrow is, well, it's Tuesday going to Wednesday, so Wednesday night. But yeah, have a good night, everyone.
buddy. I'm gonna see if there's anyone to raid off to quick. <laughs> Search up, see if there's anybody to raid. <sighs> but yeah, Doom 3 has been an interesting mix of stuff where I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And also, wow, I'm really fucking irritated. <laughs> because goddamn. Okay. Uh, Spook is doing Elder World, so we're gonna raid her. Do slash raid. <clears throat> yep, give her the big old rocker raid. I'm going to call it a night at this point, so have a good one. <laughs> 